This is Module 1, Lesson 7. Today's objective was to demonstrate the commutativity of multiplication and practice related facts by skip counting objects in array models. Number 5. Write and solve multiplication sentences where the second factor represents the size of the row. So when I look at the first problem, I'm going to count my rows to start. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six rows. Next, I'm going to look at the size of each row. In each row, I have two. Six times two. Now I need to find my total. To help me find my total, I'm going to skip count. Two four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Six times two equals twelve. Use the strategies we just practiced to help you write a multiplication problem for the second picture. Number six. Angel writes two times eight equals eight times two in his notebook. Do you agree or disagree? Draw arrays to help explain your thinking. I'm going to start by drawing an array for two times eight. This means I need two rows with eight in each row. There's one row of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a second row of eight. Now I'm going to draw an array for eight times two, which means I need eight rows of two. One row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five, six, seven, Eight. Use those two pictures to help you decide if Angel is correct in saying two times eight equals eight times two. Use words to explain. Number seven. Find the missing factor to make each equation true. First, I see two times six, so two groups of six equals six groups. If I'm using the, the commutative property, I should have six groups of two. Next, I see blank groups of two equals two groups of seven. Using the commutative property, I first need seven groups of two. Try the last two on your own. Number eight. Tamia buys two bags of candy. Each bag has seven pieces of candy in it. Draw an array to show how many pieces of candy Tamia has all together. I know she has two bags with seven pieces in each bag. So I'm going to draw my first row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She has a second bag of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is an array that shows how many pieces of candy she has all together. Letter B. Write and solve a multiplication sentence to describe the array. So look at the picture to write the groups times the size, which will give you the total. Letter C, use the commutative property to write and solve a different multiplication sentence for the array. So use those factors, switching the groups and the size to write a second multiplication problem. 